Hello everybody, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a living room kind of makeover, refresh, ready for springtime. I thought it was time to switch things up in here a little bit. Some of you may remember that I was going to order a new sofa cover. Well, that has now arrived. Thank you so much for all of your suggestions. As to which one I have gone for, because you have definitely influenced my decision and yeah I thought whilst I changed the sofa cover I would also give the living room a bit of a deep clean I would switch things up I would make it feel a little bit more spring-like as we are getting into the brighter days ahead I've done it over a couple of days so I've just finished things off this morning and yeah I am so pleased with how it's looking and I cannot wait to show you the new sofa I love coming in here of an evening lighting all the candles and sitting down to watch a good film which is exactly what I did last night night. As you may know, I'm working with Sky Cinema as part of the Sky Cinema Club. They have a couple of new films out this month. They have The Independent and they have Rock Dog 3 Battle of the Beat. And I really fancied Rock Dog. I fancied something a little bit light-hearted. I'll just tell you what it says. Bodhi is compelled to join a music contest when he discovers the young performers have never heard of Angus Scattergood. Oh, Mittens has just come in. Say hello. Mwah. Did you enjoy the film last night? They did actually, they do love an animated film. So in Rock Dog 3, there's one of those televised kind of talent shows, the ones that we have here in the UK. I know in America they're really popular as well. The kind of thing you watch on a Saturday night where performers get up in front of judges to sing and perform. One of the judges is Angus Scattergood, who is voiced by Eddie Izzard. And he is this kind of old time cat, maybe a little bit like Pumpkin when he gets older. But anyway, the young performers in the competition have never heard of him very sadly. The Bodhi wants to help with this and he wants to kind of inspire the younger generation to become rock stars. They're all kind of doing the very um, kind of pop performances. You know like you see on these competition programs where there's always kind of like the novelty act. So it's kind of like that and he's trying to inspire them to write their own music and to become rock stars. So he joins as a judge but then he gets really swept up in kind of like the fame and doing like little put downs to the other judges and all the drama. I know that these kind of contests and TV programs are things that kids really enjoy watching so I love the fact that this film kind of touches on a little bit of kind of what goes on behind the scenes. So I think it's quite a good one to open up some discussions with kids. If you're watching with kids you could kind of discuss what it's like with the mainstream media now, how audiences can be influenced because you kind of see how they change their behaviour in the show. So there's loads of music in it, loads of guitar music, there's some fun performances, there's action scenes, it's quite funny in part, so I'd say it's a really great one for kids. If you like Sing, Sing to that sort of thing, I think you would enjoy this. I would say in terms of kind of family movies, it's more at the younger end, more aimed towards kids, but you know, I'm a big kid. And also, very exciting, they've got a Tom Cruise pop up on Sky Cinema this month. To celebrate the launch of Top Gun Maverick to Sky Cinema, so they've got some iconic Tom Cruise films, including the original Top Gun, they've got Vanilla Sky. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite Tom Cruise film. Which one should I be watching first? I'm very excited for another movie night now. I've got the living room all nice and clean and tidy and refreshed for spring. Does anyone else love that feeling when you just blitzed everywhere and then you can just sit down and relax and enjoy something nice to watch on the television. You cannot beat it. I'm gonna leave you more information about Sky Cinema and the trailer to Rock Dog 3 in the description box and a big thank you to Sky Cinema for sponsoring this part of today's video. Right, it is time for the living room makeover so we will rewind to a couple of days ago and get started. As you may remember, I moved things around in here to move the sofa away from the radiator for winter time. As we're hopefully getting some warmer days, I'm probably jinxing it now, we're probably gonna get a cold snap. But I think I might turn the sofa back to how I used to have it, which was along here, and that means I'll have to move the TV over into the other corner. But yeah, I think it'll be nice to just reshuffle it as we are changing season. It's always quite nice to do that makes things feel a little bit different. And the new sofa cover is here from BEMS. It says, bring identity home. So I'm very excited to unbox that with you. So before I move things around, I want to clean my radiator. So this is a central heating radiator. It's not an electric one, so I wouldn't recommend doing this with an electric radiator. But I'm going to clean it. I'm gonna use some washing up liquid, a jug and a dish and some hot water, and it's really easy to do. And I think you're gonna love this, it's very satisfying. So you just wanna do a squirt of washing up liquid, and then we're going to add some hot water from the kettle. 
Place your container underneath the radiator, and then you just want to carefully pour the mixture of the washing up liquid and the hot water down through the vents, and we'll see what comes out. Oh my goodness, look at that. And that is just from that little section. And then just repeat the process all the way along your radiator. And of course, Pumpkin's had to come and see if I'm doing a good job. I think he approves. So what do you reckon, Pumpkin? I mean, look at this. So yeah, really easy to do. And obviously with this not being in the radiator, it's going to work more efficiently. Now I'm just gonna give the whole thing a wipe down with some multi-surface cleaner. You could use anything for this really. You could use your hot soapy water. You could use some white vinegar and all the way along the top and rub down the skirting board. I think you might call these baseboards in the US. You might want to pop a towel down when you do this too because it will drip a little bit. I'm not too worried about my carpet, but yeah, it's very old. <laughs> but if you've got some beautiful carpet down and you don't want to get any drips on it, then definitely maybe pop a towel down as well when you do this. I've got this reflective backing. I'm going to pop this back in. I took this out before doing this. This just reflects the heat back into the room. You can buy that on a roll online. Right then, now that that is done, I am going to move the TV across to this side of the room. I've got to jig things about over here a little bit. Be careful not to trip over my little helpers. I'm gonna vacuum over here, give this a quick clean, and then we'll get the new sofa cover on. You can see on here where the kittens have been jumping up and clawing a little bit into the surface. I got these furniture touch-up markers from the pound shop. One pound for three, they come in different colours and we can just go in with these to hide these scratches. I'm going to start with the medium brown. I'm going with some dark brown now. And then just buff it off with a cloth and that looks so much better. Not perfect, but you know, we've done the job. Right then, this is exciting. So we have the new sofa cover here. I reached out to Ben's and asked them if there was a discount code for you and they have very kindly given me one, which is 20% off. So I'm going to leave that linked in the description box. I'm not sure when it finishes. I think there is a deadline on it. So do have a little look and yeah, just double check when that discount code ends. So thank you very much to Ben's for the discount code for you guys. They also very kindly gifted me this cover, so a massive thank you to Bems for that as well. As you know, if you've been here for a while, I love Bems because you can transform your existing IKEA sofa, and even if your sofa is discontinued by IKEA, which my one is, this one, it's called the Nicola, in case you're interested, you would only find this maybe on a second-hand site now because it is discontinued, but I've had this for over 10 years, and it came to me for free. It was actually in the rent department that I was living in before this place and the landlord was giving it away. So I said, yes, please. It's a lovely shaped sofa. Wasn't too keen on the sofa cover that it came with. It was kind of like a navy blue 
kind of canvasy material. It was absolutely fine, but it got a bit grubby. So that's where Ben's came in. I'm now on my second cover with them. This is a lovely blue velvet. Really like it, but just fancied a change. So I'm actually gonna keep this one. I'm gonna pop it away into probably the packaging that this new one's come in, store it away so I can always swap it back. But now it is time to get things switched up. So I'm gonna give this a quick hoover, get it off and pop the new one on. So yeah, I'll leave the details for Bems and the discount code in the description box for you. And if you've got an Ikea sofa or actually lots of different Ikea furniture pieces, armchairs, footstools, all kinds of things, do have a look and see if maybe you could transform yours as well. Or if you're after a new sofa, how about looking on a second-hand site? You might even get a free IKEA sofa on somewhere like FreeCycle, and then you could use the money that you would have spent on your sofa to choose a really beautiful bespoke cover for it. I think we'd have to do this one with the magic of YouTube. If you would like to pause the video, take a guess in the comments as to which cover I've gone for if you did see the samples. Okay, let's go for it. Three, two, one. What do we think? <laughs> the kittens are already obsessed. I am so happy with this. I'm so glad we've gone for this. I know it was quite a bold choice, but lots of you did suggest this one so thank you very much for encouraging me to go for something a little bit bolder and a little bit different i am so happy with this it looks like a brand new sofa doesn't it it looks completely different i feel like it's kind of given it a new shape i got some lovely cushions to match which have some beautiful feather inserts so they sit really nicely and just the fabric is beautiful isn't it what do you think pumpkin do you like our new sofa I'm going to have to put some plastic wrap around the back of this to avoid the scratching situation because I can see someone is already <laughs> getting their claws out, aren't you? Do you like it? How fab, I mean how beautiful are all these flowers on here? This fabric is stunning. Yeah, very, very happy with that. Oh, amazing what you can do with just a change of a cover, isn't it? And they fit really nicely. They've got Velcro that goes all the way around so it just Velcros on. And it's made really nicely, so it really hugs the sofa in all the right places. You know, it fits really well. So, <laughs> all right, pumpkin, <laughs> come on. I think we'll have to get pumpkin and mittens a new bed so they don't feel left out. I'm going to go round all the back and the sides with some of this plastic coating. This is for like covering stairs and floors and things when you're decorating. It's kind of sticky, but it peels off okay. And I think this will just be perfect to protect it from any little claws that might go around the back of the sofa and the sides for a little scratching session. And yeah, I'll just keep an eye on the front and hopefully they'll be good. They have been very good recently with the sofa. They did start off scratching it, but I did cover it over with lots of tape and they seem to have stopped. So hopefully this one will be okay, but yeah, I'll just keep an eye on them and cover the back. So I've gone on all the way around, just the sides here. You can't really see it, which is great. And then I've put loads on the back, which will obviously be back towards the radiator, so none of this will be visible. And then some more down on this side too, which will be out of sight for the time being. Crikey, I need to get dusting. I'm thinking I might have to use this cardboard tube to create a scratching post for the kittens. I think I'll probably just wrap some thick twine around this and connect it to something heavy. And yeah, hopefully that will keep their claws away from the sofa. Right, let's get this moved back. I'm gonna leave a nice little gap here so I can still allow the heat to come out from the radiator. Is somebody in here? Oh, pumpkin. <laughs>
I am now experimenting with cushions, which I always find quite difficult. I've got these ones that I've had for forever, <laughs> that were from the Urban Outfitters sale many years ago. Um, I'm not sure if this green's a bit much with the, with the um, green of the sofa, but I'm just experimenting to break it up a bit. And I quite like the gold on here, because we have got some in the fabric and also the frames above. Let me just angle you up a little bit. We've got some gold going on up there. So yeah, it's tricky, isn't it, with cushions? I'm gonna leave it like that for now, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure about the green ones. Is that too much? And also, do we do symmetrical or do we just go random? I feel like symmetrical can be a little bit too, like we're trying too hard. Okay, it's a couple of days later. I've actually been to Ikea in HomeSense in between filming. So I've got some vlogs from in-store on the way. While I was in Ikea, I picked up some new feather cushion inserts for these cushions, and they have made such a difference because they now kind of will sit nicer on the sofa. They're a bit more plump, a bit more crinkly and squishy. You can chop them and they stay in a nice position. So. Yeah, I'm really pleased with those. I just got the 50 by 50 and they were nine pounds each. So I'm gonna pop those onto the sofa and then I'm just gonna whip round and just add a few finishing touches. Just dust around, I've just got this corner to do over here, sort out the table. The TV set up over here, I just need to wipe all that down and tidy that up a little bit. And yeah, I think we'll be finished. Are you liking the sofa? They've been really good and haven't scratched it at all. these nets from fruit packaging because you can use them as a scourer for cleaning. Great for getting lime scale off the shower door. Okay, I think I am finished. I mean, you're never properly finished, are you? But I'm gonna show you where I'm up to, but I'm really happy with how it's looking in here. It feels like a new space again, I love that. Okay, so starting off on this side, I've just cleared the table, cleaned the table, added some lovely citrus fruit, and yeah, I've just added some lemons, a grapefruit, tidied up over this side, it's just very simple. It's all got the plant in the corner with the tin foil on it. The tin foil is there to prevent the cats using it as a litter tray. And then down here, I have this rug. Now this is a new dumpster dive find. I actually found this rolled up being given away. Wasn't sure of the condition of it, but as you can see, it's a little bit faded, but these kind of rugs, that is the vibe. You know, they look fantastic as they start to fade. So you often can buy them like this from vintage stores. So I was quite happy to pick it up. I checked that it wasn't like too dirty, didn't smell of anything, but I did give it a good bath. So I actually put it in my bath, washed it, dried it, really gave it a good clean. And yeah, it just adds a really nice kind of layer in here. The chairs at the table, I mean, these are just ones from Lidl and then these ones were dumpster dived. I found this table. If you want to go back and watch previous living room tours, you'll see lots of the stuff in this home is completely free. So yeah, I get a lot of questions about this map too. I actually just bought a very simple print off of a map from eBay. It came in sheets of paper, like A4 size. I taped them all together, used watercolor paint on it and then tea stained it and that's the effect, and then in a charity shop frame. So yeah, it's not an antique. <laughs> it's literally a black and white eBay print. You used to be able to buy them really cheap back in the day. I don't know how much they'd be now, or you could print your own probably. And then, yeah, just use some watercolors and some tea. Then down in the corner here, I've got a bit of a messy corner, but I just thought I'd show you, because this is the reality. I've used a crate to just keep the Wi-Fi box in. It stops the kittens interfering with it. So the Wi-Fi box is in that crate. Then on top of it, I've just got like an Aspinall box I'm just using to store some bits in. And then this basket, it's just handy. It's things that I use at the desk, like pens, mini tripods. I've got my ring lamp over there. So yeah, slightly messy corner, but that's the reality. I think at some point it might be nice to have a unit up in this corner. Um, but yeah, maybe in the future if I spot a nice antique one. Then moving round, I've popped this little shelf under the window for the time being. It's just got some plant pots in it that I need to figure out what I'm doing with these. So 
yeah, they're just some old anthropology ones, some thrifted ones. It's almost a gift from Luke. Um, that had a plant in it from like a florist and I just kept it because I really liked the kind of wood effect. It's just storing those for the moment, but I think eventually I'd like to make this look a little bit nicer. I've just put my coffee on here and I've kept the top shelf clean and bare because the kittens like to stand up on here and have a peek out the window. So yeah, <laughs> that's why that's like that. Moving round to the corner, I now have the TV back on the TV bench that was under the window before. I've got a few charity shop bits under there waiting to film a haul with. And I've got a couple of wicker hampers that are just storing some games and some coasters and that kind of thing. So is that crate down there. A basket full of blankets in the corner that has become the kitten's scratching post. So they've been enjoying that um, and then we have this lamp in the corner that's from Sainsbury's that I'll just pop it on actually show you just lights up this corner nicely of an evening and then moving round onto the mantelpiece have the lovely pictures of the kittens I've just popped in some like faux flowers these are from Wilco and yeah just looking quite simple and quite fresh. I could do with a spring wreath, I think. I might make one to go in the middle and try and switch these up a bit. I could always add a bit of spring flowers into these because they're looking a little bit dark and it's also just the two of them now because I took down the little light up one. It was looking a little bit too festive. And then moving round, yeah, just got a couple of lanterns down there, kept it nice and simple. And yeah, I've kept the sofa out a little bit from this table, which allows a little space down here, which has the basket full of the kitten's toys and also a heated blanket that I've shown you recently, which I'm absolutely loving. And yeah, their toys are under there. So it just tucks down there really nicely. I've got my trunk full of candles and my little um, Fortnum's basket that I got from the boot sale. And I've just popped these flowers in the corner. Um, these are white company flowers that I thrifted. And I've just added this rose that I had randomly. That was dumpster dived <laughs> and charity shop. Um, jug and this is the crisp morning air one really lovely and I got this snuffer from Ikea for two pounds which I thought was fab and then moving round to the sofa I'm not sure about how I've done the cushions I'll probably just keep playing with that and yeah I just absolutely love it I might change up the legs on it I feel like they should be dark now what do we think maybe to match that I've actually got some vinyl that I could stick over that as a temporary option um, I might do that but yeah Something a little bit different. I mean, there was probably a time when all sofas were probably floral um, and it's gone away, but yeah, maybe it can make a comeback. Just show you a slightly wider view. So you can see kind of like the artworks as well in the room. And I've just flipped the rug around as well. I've actually got rid of the um, circular metal coffee table. I haven't got rid of it. I've actually slid it under the sofa. It folds away um, just to keep a nice area of floor space for the time being, but it's something I can pop out um, if I'm entertaining or for meals and that sort of thing. And I've just kept out this very simple Perspex one, which is great because it kind of doesn't eat into the floor space. So you still get that nice sense of space in here. And as you can see, we've got the plastic wrap on the side here, which has done the trick. And I've kept a little gap at the back to allow some air to circulate for the radiator. But yeah, that's not really on too much at the moment because it has been mild, although I think we are due a cold snap. So I might be regretting <laughs> this reshuffle. But yeah, that's how it is looking in here. And I'm very pleased with it. So there we go. I really hope you enjoyed this living room makeover and refresh. Hopefully it's inspired you to just maybe switch things up in your home a little bit. See what's working for you, what's not working for you, and maybe bring in some flowers as it's coming in springtime. Whether it's florals in fabrics or whether it is some real flowers that you can pick up near to you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, do give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget if you're new here to click subscribe. I post new videos every single week and hit the notification bell because I'm uploading quite frequently at the moment and I don't want you to miss any videos. You can always catch me over on Instagram as well. It's Mr. Carrington or Mr. Carrington Home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.